The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratay, has stressed on the need for disarmament of combatants and non-state actors in the conflict areas around the country. General Buratay, at the ongoing roundtable on disarmament, demob demobilization, reintegration, peace building and reconciliation in the Northeast ongoing at the Nigerian Army Resource Center in Abuja, says only disarming of combatants can guarantee peace and security in the Northeast. He says the Army is aware that, book, uh, that several individuals within the Boko Haram terrorist group are willing to drop down their weapons and embrace peace and assured participants that the army will create an opportunity for them to do so. The most first of all disarmed. The combatants must be disarmed. At what stage can you say so can you start the disarmament? Are we, are we at the stage of disarmament now? There must be a sort of agreement, a sort of a negotiation, a sort of a mediation, a sort of surrender for that matter. Both parties must agree to this arm, but in this case, the other party, the Iswa Boko Haram terrorists, are still carrying arms. But very importantly, why we must do that? There are some individuals the, uh, within the factions of the terrorists that are willing to surrender. Some of them are surrendering willingly. We've uh, uh, taken custody of hundreds of them of these uh, fighters, and uh, many of them are willing to, to, to surrender. So in this case, I see uh, the right time and the right uh, mechanism to be put in place to ensure that this process is uh, com uh, commenced. I thought that the military training is to acquire peace, because as you get into a position of peace and promotion of peace, if you listen very well to the speech of the Chief of Army who understand the balancing he was trying to do in defining peace from the military point of view and peace from civilian point of view. We are going to both acquire peace and build peace. There is no problem. We do acquire peace, yes. That is possible. Uh, forcible compelling of combatants to surrender. That's a position of peace. The building of peace is getting them to understand that there is even no basis for warring in forces.